I also just left to walk camp, so I'm going to take this opportunity to clean up this camp. Here it is in its current state. cleaning the scamp with me. Oh my. Epic. We had Christmas last night. Throughout our whole entire relationship, we have not ever done gift exchanges. Not for birthdays, holidays, Christmas. Nothing. For the three or four years, even before we moved into the scamp, each time we would move into a new house or apartment, we'd try to downsize our stuff just in preparation for living small. So buying each other gifts, at least on set holidays, has never really been something that we've done. It's never been necessary. And it's not necessary now, but we're not going home for the holidays. It was kind of a crazy year. So we thought, let's just do it. Let's just buy each other one Christmas present. Merry Christmas! You got a coat from Santa! <laughs> Look at that! What a cool boy! He's so embarrassed. <laughs> he just buries his head. You open it. Are you ready? Oh! <laughs> I knew it. No! You didn't know it! <laughs> How did you know it? No, you didn't. A onesie! What is it? He plated it. Oh my god! This is perfect! It was either between this or a did or do. <laughs> and I felt like <laughs> this was probably going to be a little bit more practical. Elsa kept asking over and over again, like guessing, and I didn't want her to guess it. So she asked if I got her a onesie, and I, I was like, how did you know? It I was thought it was a Carhartt work suit. No, I would not get you a dang no, onesie because it would so take up so much room in the scamp, like your damn space suit. No, I'm not going to just shoot myself in the foot. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Are you excited? Yes. Inside. Go for it. Okay. What's funny? The reality of life is Baron is the organizer. It may look in videos like it is me, but that's because I am the one who films myself organizing on the moments that I do happen to organize once a week for the YouTube videos. And the rest of the time. You do. I'm just but setting the facts straight here, <laughs> but okay? It, but it's so it's normal for me to clean and organize. Yes, but you don't film it. So I don't film it. Yeah, but, but on the, the Like deal. I said, I'm creative <laughs> and fun to be around. What are you gonna do? And this little asshole just never cleans up after himself. 
Why don't you ever clean up after yourself, dude? Should we fix my shoes? Good thing you have me. <laughs> my craft pack is pretty organized. You need your coat here. Oh. oh you're so warm. There. Let you be a warm princess. <laughs> Oh, good boy. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, he loves you. So it's both soles have come off? It started to, yeah. And then this back here too? Mm -hmm. I've been kind of playing with leather lately. These are a lot fresher than yours. These are newborn. I'm just having fun. I'm not really making these for any particular reason. I mean, I'm not making them to sell, is what I'm saying. I don't have enough leather. I'm sewing it like I sewed this. And it looks like that's how this is sewn. in go in with one and out with the other I ripped a hole in my pants the other day while we were snowboarding so we're gonna fix those up now bummer Gear Aid makes great stuff for keeping your old gear rocking. This is my old jacket, my old uh, puffy. I've repaired it in a number of places. That'll look great, <laughs> like a big old polka dot. <laughs> Oh, these are clear. Oh well, I kind of like the black on the outside for Wabi Sabi, but if I could redo it, I'd probably do clear. <laughs> Sweet. Now I will always remember to land on my chest and elbows rather than knees. Yeah, great perspective. Awesome. They really are. I love the mustard. Good job. You're so resourceful. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Wow, is that the part you just did? Uh huh. I went over the existing stitches, a few stitches. Good job. So hopefully it will stay. You might toss some, throw some super glue on here because this looks like this is the most worn part. Of the whole shoe. Yeah. 
I might just put like Gorilla Glue all the way around it. Yeah, not a bad idea. Now I'm gonna wax it. And the only wax I have is actually mustache wax. It's primarily beeswax and that's what the shoe wax is made out of. So that's what I'm gonna use. I've been warming it up under the stove. These are gonna smell so good. This one is the one I've already waxed. This one is still dry, needs some wax. You can really tell around there. Oh yeah. Wow. And heels. some fudge. I'm hoping that this is around six ounces of chocolate. I'm gonna use half a jar of condensed milk and then we'll add all the rest of the ingredients once this is melted. Because I'm doing this on the wood stove and not on a double boiler, I'm gonna have to watch it pretty close. A little bit of ghee. I guess this makes it creamy. I'm gonna add some vanilla. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna split this up into these two containers so that I can make two flavors. First flavor is going to be Oreo. Oh boy. Okay, flavor number one, done. Flavor number two is going to be Mexican hot chocolate with some cashews. Cashew chunks, cinnamon. Flavor number two is complete. Now I'm gonna go put these into the car so that they can set away from any kind of critters. Okay, do your thing, little fuddies. Not good? No, it's not good. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> wow. That's so good. So good. That's some of the best fudge I've ever had. Oh, it's good. 10 out of 10. I've just made some coffee on the stove and I wanna show what I love to do when I happen to have condensed milk around, which is not very often. 
in Vietnam, we every day had this coffee, just black coffee with condensed milk. That's all it was. Take just a little spoonful, pour in a little bit of coffee, and give that a good mix. Then I add some more coffee. Mm. And there you have it. Oh, so good. It's just like cream and sugar in coffee. It's really not that crazy. Do you want to try some, Baron? Mm -hmm. Did you sleep okay last night? No. <laughs> Freaking wood stove in the winter is great, but it's also a hindrance. It's hard because I don't want it to burn out because I don't want to relight it from scratch. That takes forever. Yeah. So I set an alarm every like two and a half hours to check on it. But then sometimes it isn't burned down enough to put in a new log. So I have to like try to break up the old log into coals. But then if I can't break it up, then uh, I have to wait another hour for it to break down. So yeah, I was up a bunch of times last night trying to keep it going. What doesn't help is your alarm is really, really, really loud. Yeah. I just got that full. I need to switch the alarm. I have it But up. I think the alarm is a smart thing to do. It helps us get up and do it. Yeah, I could probably set one on my watch so it just vibrates me and doesn't wake you up. Well, I don't mind waking up. It's just like jolting out of my REM sleep, this terrifying alarm. And then you got to get up out of bed cold. It's just a terrible experience. At least it's not that like nuclear. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. It's 12 degrees. We're just saying that any warmer temps after this location will feel super, super easy. Our bodies get really used to the cold too. Didn't somebody say in the comments that the oils on your skin adapt to the cold or something? Makes Create sense. more oils for the cold weather. I even noticed that on my lips and stuff when I first get to the high elevation. My lips are always super dry and then after a few weeks they kind of catch up. It's really fun. My goodness. Holy cow. Oh, does that feel good? Nice and clean. Good boy. Let's go. Come on. Camp. Camp. I swear. This is not just a camp thing, this is a Sheba thing, okay? And it's so funny, but I need to not encourage it. No, come on, let's go. This way, come on, let's go. Let's go, good boy, good boy. Wow, it's really snowing.